Before we do anything about updates about what's happening with Iran, the United States, about what's happening in our nation, what's transpiring in Israel right now, what's going on, you need to know the gospel. Because you know what? The rapture could take place in the, in the next few moments. Uh, the earth, this is California, wake up. The earth could open up and swallow us. See, Pastor, don't say that. This is California. The earth could open up and swallow us. <laughs> Anything could happen, right? And here's the deal. This world that you and I live in, all the mayhem and junk we see on the TV, the tsunamis, the storms, the earthquakes, the violence, the senseless murdering that's taking place in our nation and the world, this is not what God made. He did not make this. We made this. So as you probably all know, Israel was attacked mostly from Iranian soil. Mostly that means that some drones and missiles were shot from Iraq, some from Syria, some from Yemen. Hezbollah joined the party a little bit with Qadisha rockets uh, later on, but the vast majority over the attack was from Iran. Iran launched over 300 aerial um vehicles. Some are UAVs, some are cruise missiles, and some are ballistic missiles. Ballistic missiles are fast because they go up the atmosphere and go down much faster. Cruise missiles takes much longer because they, they are cruising in low altitude just like an airplane. Even I would say slow plane, uh, and uh, UAVs are much slower than that. And uh, basically, Iran launched everything up. Uh, and what we know now, I mean, what we, the citizens, I'm not talking about people in high authority. What we know now, what is official right now, is that the US received a warning. Not even a warning received the information of when, how, uh, this whole thing is going to be. The US tried to persuade Iran not to do it. But Iran was very determined to do it. Uh, but the US via Turkey received the information of what's gonna happen and when it's gonna happen. Of course, Israel received information, but you need to understand, by accepting this information from the Iranians, it's almost like you agree that it's going to happen, as long as it's not going to cross some lines which is what we are so angry about. Because what do you mean you can just out of the blue, shoot, almost three, uh, 350, uh, flying objects, no matter what it is. What do you mean you can just do that, and uh, it's okay. I mean, would the White House be okay with interceptions of 350, flying tire, flying objects towards Washington, D.C., and call that a victory? Of course not. No country would, I mean, would tolerate such a violation of sovereignty. But, but put that aside, let me tell you what the Iranians was, were thinking, and then let me tell you what the Israelis did. And let me give you some other interesting nuggets of information. So first of all, ever since the Abraham Accords were signed, part of the deal was that there is a new alliance in the Middle East of Israel and Arab countries that will collaborate in many different financial, economic, um, areas. However, also in security area and, uh, we sign agreements where we share intelligence and where we share command centers. And it is the Middle East. Uh, air defense. Uh, that. Uh, we created, um, mead. Okay? So, um, basically last night, we operated this mead for the first time, in a full scale. The fact that the Saudis and the Jordanians helped, intercepting rockets and drones is phenomenal. Uh, and the fact that, um, the entire airspace of the Middle East was actually cleared to give Israel air superiority to deal with the threats. It's unprecedented. Jordan closed its airspace. Um, Saudi closed its airspace. And basically, the airspace was given to us because all of the Israeli F-30s were intercepting drones and cruise missiles. Not in Israeli territory, in Jordanian's territory, in Syrian territory, in Saudi territory. Which is phenomenal. It is unbelievable if you really think about it. This is a new era in the Middle East. The F-35 is the only fighter jet that we have. With the capabilities of shooting down drones and, uh, cruise missiles. The rest of our fighter jets are more for air to ground. And air to air. When it comes to combating other fighter jets. But the F-35 is much more advanced. And this is exactly 
by the way, why the Iranians marked the Never Team airbase in the negative in the southern part of Israel as their target. Iran announced that it actually uh, damaged two targets. Iran is taking pride of the fact that no uh, civilian targets were actually there, but only military, which is baloney. It's baloney. Because if it wasn't for the God of Israel, also gave us the air defense systems, um, a lot of people would have, you know, would have, uh, been killed. But forget about that. Never. Team airbase. It's because the F-35 who shot the rockets. That killed the general in Damascus. This is where they took off from. And the other, the other target they claim to have, uh, damaged is the Israeli military outpost on Mount Hermon, which was, according to the Iranians, the command center that directed the F-35s during the attack on the building in Damascus. Not another thing I want to correct. Israel did not attack the embassy. This is something that the Iranians tell the world. In order to justify the attack on Israel, we did not even harm the embassy. We attacked the annex building, which was a base of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. And in order to hide their deeds they called it consulate. But since when consulate is within the embassy, consulate is in a branch of the embassy elsewhere. But they called it consulate because they needed to give it a diplomatic status. So if you hurt or damage it, it's as if you attacked the country. That's the whole thing. But Israel did not attack the Iranian embassy in Damascus. It's still standing. It's open. Nothing happened to the embassy. Nothing happened to any embassies uh, around it. So it has to be very clear. The most revered mastermind general of the Iranian military. Many people today have concluded that people like al-Baghdadi, Osama bin Laden, really answered to him. Because this guy, as you know, Iran is the number one uh, funder of terrorism around the world. They are the financier of terrorism globally. And their terrorism operations answered to one man. And that man, a few days ago, was removed from power. And, and you should clap. Every, the world should be clapping. In fact, the world is clapping. Did you know that when that happened, people in Saudi Arabia were celebrating? And did you know that in, in uh, Iraq, in Iran, in Iran, people were waving American flags until they got caught? Did you know that Saudi Arabia was rejoicing that this evil man was taken out? From the age of 21, this man's ability to orchestrate evil under the guise of military uh, permission and military justification slaughtered tens of thousands of people. Did you know just a couple of weeks ago he killed hundreds of his own people in Iran for not siding with the regime? Do you know how Iran works? Iran, which is so sad, listen, if you know, I know Iranians, and they say, don't ever call me an Iranian. That's right. They'll say, you, I'm Persian, I'm not Iranian. Persia's got a noble heritage. Persia, often in your Bible. Persia has often been a great friend of Israel. Think of Artaxerxes, uh, Darius, uh, Cyrus and others of that region, of that era, of that realm, Babylonian-wise, Nebuchadnezzar and others. But if you're, of, if you're of, uh, of Persia, you're proud to be Persian. I worked 13 years in biomedical research engineering with uh, Baxter Healthcare, and I had wonderful friends and co-workers who were from Tehran, brilliant people. And um, listen, you want to get knocked out? If you ever want to get knocked out, uh, a lot of Persians, I tell you what, they love America. They love freedom. They love, they love being able to own, own their own home and prosper. And they love this country. And they're being controlled by a hierarchy of religious fanatics. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update our best videos.